Hello, Maggie Bryant, and welcome. Today I'd like to talk about a really good book called The Blue Zones, and it's all about people that have lived over a hundred years old. And it was a beautiful study done of people around the world, and there's five places in the world where people are above 100, and that's the average age in those communities. And I'd like to tell you a little bit about each of them and what we can learn for ourselves for living a long and healthy life. Now the areas were, one was in Japan, Okinawa, another was in Sardinia in Italy, the third one was Sequoia in Costa Rica, the fourth one was Ikeara in Greece, and surprisingly Another one was in California, Lower Linda in California, USA. Now, this, this particular author, and I'll drop it in the comments below the book so that you can, the cover of the book so that you can reach for it, and I highly recommend that you read it. He studied what were the consistent habits of each of the communities and what we can learn from each of them and what were the diets for each of the respective areas. And that was just my bird flying in, and I think it's a butcher bird that's flying in over my shoulder. So if he comes to join us, it's a be welcomed. And what it was, was the diets and the habits and what they were that they each had in common. Key was having a purpose in life. This was key for each of the communities and was consistent with all of them. All of them had a tremendous sense of community. Many of them were living with their families, so had intergenerational uh, communities that they were living with, particularly in Japan. And each of them had lifestyle was key to them. So it wasn't 25% of it was made up because of their genes, but it isn't the genes that is the determining factor, it is lifestyle. Also, wonderfully, if people live into their 80s, it is incredible how much that you can live well in up, coming up to your hundreds as well, particularly if you've been healthy in your 80s. So longevity is wonderful and can be so useful to you. And then my butcher bird has just joined me and I have a variety of birds, butcher bird and another, the wee willies, and they'll be joining me. That purpose in life is really important for people and very much a sense of community. And what they also went on to say that it was really crucial that they had exercise as part of their lifestyle. Many of them were growing their own plants and fruits and vegetables and they'd go out and harvest that themselves. And if you incorporate, and you know this yourselves, if you incorporate your lifestyle and your exercise into your lifestyle, it's so much easier to maintain that lifelong. They were out bending, digging in the dirt, changing the seasons for the crops and all of this was part of knowing what to do for a long and healthy life. A third tip for each of the communities was all of them, only eight to 80% of their capacity for eating. So only eat when you are feeling full, not when you're going over it and eating for your satisfaction